Hello everyone, today I would like to talk about a certain game that's getting a remake this month. It is one of my favorite games and maybe even one of my first games ever. This is Mafia City of Lost Heaven. So the footage that you will see right now is the original game. And that came out in 2002 and it still runs really badly when I record it on my potato of a computer. Anyway, so first of all, this game is very underrated. Most of you know probably Mafia 2, and maybe it was even the first Mafia game that you ever played. But let me tell you something, even though I really enjoyed the second game, the first one was better in many many ways. So, in the first game you play as Tommy Angelo, and you are a taxi driver. Well now, I won't talk much about the story, because I don't really want to spoil anything for you, but all I can say is that in beginning you're a taxi driver, and throughout in beginning and later you become one of the mobsters of Salieri family. So you might wonder why I'm, why am I even making this video? Well, I'm very passionate about games and I would like to share opinion about it, even though I don't have many followers. So the point of the video. I'm concerned and I'm worried that they might not do the original justice in the remake. Now bear in mind, I will buy the remake when it comes out on 25th of September and I will do a review and many gameplay videos because I really... it's like a dream to me that they are even making a remake of this game. So let's talk about the footage that everyone can see right now online on YouTube. The game right from the start looks incredible and the game animations, the facial expressions, the lip, lip syncing is done amazingly. I also saw that they st stayed true to the story and even some additional side missions they said they're gonna keep the same map and make some tweaks and changes and that's a good thing because the story in this game is absolutely freaking amazing. It's serious, the characters are authentic and you you start to care about them. And this is 2002, remember? There were there was no game that can be compared in storytelling back then. And you can say now what about GTA 3? Well, GTA 3 made more money and you you can compare it in story in the gameplay. It's you cannot. Maybe maybe GTA San Andreas, but it came out in two thousand five. What two thousand five two thousand six something like that. This game is ahead of its time. So what I'm really concerned is when they announced that they're gonna put a classic difficulty mode. Well, even though I'm really happy that they did that, I'm also not happy. Because the original, there was no difficulty mode. When you hit a car, or cross red light, or drive for more than 40 miles an hour, police will give you a ticket. They will, they will chase you until you stop, you get out, and they give you a ticket. And if they give you three times, you're gonna, they're going to try to arrest you. If you carry a weapon in the, on the street, police will chase you. They, try, they might even try to shoot, shoot at you. The, the game, the original, didn't have many checkpoints and also didn't have any minimap or any GPS system that tells you where to go, what to do specifically. They do tell the main objective, but everything is up to the player. And that is why I don't like that they will put it as an optional difficulty. Because that's the only difficulty that the Mafia, the remake, should have. I know that this is all my opinion. And I'm not saying I'm right, but I'm just saying this from my perspective. Because if you are making a remake, then you as a player expect from them to make it as the original game. With just few changes and, you know, today's standard graphics. 
But now they put a GPS system, they put a mini map telling you where to go, what to do, and I I'm just you know, afraid they're gonna limit your freedom, they're gonna make the game linear instead of open world. Because you could literally go anywhere, even though you have on your map, in the original, even though you have a map, and, you, and it says where you have to go, you don't have to go there. You can go into the village, you can go anywhere in the map, and the map was really huge. So, the immersion in, in the original is really great. You felt freedom. You felt like a mobster. And if they limit that from us, then I will be very disappointed with this game. I also hope that they don't take away the free ride extreme, which is like, mm, like a mode you get after finishing the game. And uh, you can like run through the town and you can do some extra side quests and collect some cool cars and put them in your garage. Because um, um, this world that they made is truly great. And I mean, for example, you can take a train, you can refuel your car because if you drive your car for way too long, it will eventually run out out of gas. You can take a trolley through the town, you can interact with everyone in the street, even though that they might say a one or two same lines, but it still feels great, it still feels kind of alive. So I'm hoping that this remakes, remake does justice to the original, because let's be honest, there are too many greedy developers out there trying to get out an unfinished product and I'm not saying that we won't get a Mafia remake that we deserve and not saying anything bad to the developer but I just hope that we get a remake that is as near good as the original so with all of this I'm leaving the topic and we'll see on the 25th of this month if the developers truly gave us the game that was truly ahead of its time. If anyone is interested, I will leave a link of Mafia, the City of Lost Heaven, from Steam, in the description, even though this video isn't sponsored, because I really love this game, and I just wish that even if one person decides to buy the remake, tries the original first. So thank you so much for watching, all the way till the end, let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts on the remake or the original game. Um, or if I should make more videos like these. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then.